The NASCAR Cup Series hasn't postponed the noon Easter. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. As I just mentioned here a second ago, the NASCAR Cup Series race from Dover that had completed 78 laps today. The rest of the race is going to finish tomorrow at noon Eastern. Due to rain coming in here around 2 or 3 this afternoon, the Cup Series race has been unfortunately postponed. Now, like I said, we were able to get some laps in. Kyle Lars will leave the field back to green after 78 laps. Weather does look a lot better for tomorrow, so weather should not be a major, major concern for tomorrow. But like I just mentioned, race has been postponed. I really want to talk about my thoughts on this because I have some really, really choice words for things to say here. Look, I completely understand why NASCAR has these later start times. I understand why they have them a lot later. But especially when it comes to tracks with do not have lights, I don't really understand why we don't have these races starting no later than 1 p.m. Eastern. Because at least if you start the race a little bit earlier, you have a little bit of leeway and you can get the race farther in. And had we started the race at noon Eastern or 1 p.m. Eastern, we would have probably gotten this race to halfway. We may have not gotten all the win, but you know what? We probably would have gotten out of this racetrack a lot sooner. We would not have had to come back here on Monday to race. And this is not something that's just new this year. I know this, this is only the first time this year. We've been really lucky this year with the weather compared to last year in 2020, other previous years like 2019 and 2018. We haven't had a lot of issues with rain this year. I know we had some issues at Martinsville, but we're still able to get that race in. This, like I said, is the first race that has been delayed. But like I mentioned here, I don't understand why we're starting these races, especially this late, with tracks that do not have lights. Again, I understand why they do it, because they want to get that West Coast viewer. But I would rather try to get the product done, especially for the fans at the track, than worry about and chase some West Coast viewers. Don't get me wrong, attendance year has been really, really good, and we've seen really, really good ratings this year. Ratings have generally been up, and I think it does help that we start the race a little bit later. And like I mentioned, we start the race a little bit later, try to chase those West Coast viewers. But you're going to need my opinion. You really should be starting these races a little bit sooner, a, a, earlier than this. And I know that a lot of people that are IndyCar fans are probably saying, well, we should start a race this time because you wanted to get the IndyCar race in. You can sim a cast that and do two races at once. I just, I really feel for the fans at the racetrack. And yes, Mother Nature is such a tough thing. And it's really tough to predict how Mother Nature is going to be. So it's really tough to say yes, you could even. And yes, there is a valid point that says, Sometimes even if you start the race a little bit earlier, you do have the potential possibility of rain coming in at noon. This would not have fixed the issue in New Hampshire. There was rain in New Hampshire for that happened, and the track was really, really wet. They should just have never started a race at all to begin with and should have just waited until we got there, but they would not have been able to get most of the race in to begin with. But I will say one thing. I'm glad the NASCAR tried to get the race in today. That's one thing I will give NASCAR props for is the fact that they did try to get the race and they waited to the last essential minute to basically go ahead and postpone and call the race for today but it's really really unfortunate that they decided to call it again very very frustrating and let's be for the race hasn't been the greatest either to begin with this hasn't been the worst race i've seen so far this year i still think mars will top set but it's been a lot of single file racing there hasn't passing but hasn't been the most quintessential thing danny hamlin's had his best car so far this year up to this point chris busher who actually won the pole for this race has only fallen really as far back as fourth until I think he came down to pit road. But he's been really, really fast in today's race as well. Kyle Lars, like I mentioned, leading once again here. He's not led a lot of races this year, so it's good to see that that five team is really starting to get their stuff together. I'm really happy as a Kyle Lars fan. Really, really happy to see that. But I do hope long term when it comes to these executive decisions going forward, I really hope that we start going away from these later start times. I think that generally, especially, and, and another thing that really needs to also change is that one, Dover needs to try to install lights. I know that there's an air base right outside the racetrack, so it's going to be tough to get that through the government. But Las Vegas Motor Speedway also has an Air Force base that's not that far outside the track. And if I remember correctly, Daytona National Speedway, don't they also have an Air Force base? You can correct me if I'm wrong on that. If I remember correctly, I thought, Dar Day um, I thought Daytona also had an Air Force base as well. So <clears throat> I'm a little bit confused why they don't have that situation sorted out. It's just really frustrating as a fan. I, I, I've seen a lot of fans, a lot of people that work in the reporting side of things. I've seen a lot of fans really, really upset. And it's just something that absolutely needs to change going forward. Fox and these executives need to stop putting NASCAR in a tough position. NASCAR just needs to lay down the law and start these races sooner. Look at IndyCar. IndyCar has the races started like at noon or 11 a.m., basically noon Eastern, and they have the races done 
much, much quicker. I just personally think that when it comes to races like this and situations, we should really be able to avoid these situations. And to me, in my honest opinion, I really do believe that we should be starting these races a little bit sooner. We'll talk more about my opinion on this later in this week. I'm just really, really frustrated by the fact that we can't get the full race in. And this is something that should have been fixed years ago. And let me say one thing too, chasing a West Coast viewer. I understand why they do it. But if you cannot wake up by 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning when you know that there's a race going on, it's on you. You should be able to wake up early in the morning. I'm able to wake up early in the morning. I know it's kind of selfish coming from someone like me, but you should be able to wake up earlier in the morning. And to me, it's just really, really frustrating as a fan that we have to cater just to the West Coast viewers. And this is not something that just NASCAR is doing. I know the NFL has been trying to do it. MLB's been trying to do it. IndyCar's been trying to do it from time to time. But you know what? IndyCar also <clears throat> has way earlier start times as well to get those people to watch. You know why? So they have more leeway if rain comes in and there was potential rain at Barber today, which, by the way, shout out to uh, Al. I think it was Pat Award, the guy's first one of the year. So congrats to him on that. But it's really, really irritating and frustrating as a fan that we cannot get this in. And this is something that needs to be fixed long term. I hope that in the future, when it comes to TV contracts, NASCAR can take more rights to it. So I think the TV networks have cuffed NASCAR, and I think NASCAR going forward has to fix this. So anyway, that's today's special report. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Turn on to be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And for me on page as well. Let's get you over that and comment your thoughts on today's video. Do you think a NASCAR start times should be starting earlier? Let me know in the comments below. I'm voting for noon or 1 p.m. Eastern. I believe that we should be starting these races at noon. But in my opinion, that also could be later as well, depending on what location you are in. Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel is going to be the NASCAR Cup Series race for you. Then we'll have a news video recap and some of the news stories on Tuesday, followed by some of our stuff later in the week as we get you set up for the Darlington throwback race. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank guys for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Some more great, awesome NASCAR and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.